Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing um, a quick unboxing from Amazon. I purchased some items. First things first is this iBlason or Blason Apple iPad Air case. Um, it's for my daughter, so I purchased it in pink. And it has, well that's the button for the home button. So you can see it just covers it. And it's kind of like a, a thick foam. Maybe it feels like a really, really thick, sturdy foam. This black piece that I'm taking out, it's just to keep the shape of the iPad case while it's shipping. And now I'm just gonna slide my iPad into it. It fit pretty snug, so I'm not afraid of it slipping out from this side right here. Um, I think it works well so far. I've had it for about um, a couple weeks and I've had no problems with it so I'm very happy with this purchase. So if you turn it over there are openings for all the buttons and the ports on the iPad. So the top one that I'm going to be touching is the power button or like the screen timeout and it's open for the camera which is nice on the side it's open for the power the volume and on the bottom it has this flap for the charging port which snaps into place which is really nice I purchased this for $16.99 on Amazon and I'll be linking it down below if you want to um, check it out so now this flap the handle it flaps over and you're able to stand it up in landscape mode like hands-free and it stands pretty nice. Um, you can also put it down like that and it's now the iPad is like on the table, still in landscape mode. Um, you can't do anything in portrait mode, which is okay because most games and things like that are in landscape mode. So I love it, good purchase. Next thing I purchased were these Aqua Brush by Pencil Arts. They come in three different sizes, and I purchased them for $12.88 on Amazon. Uh, there's fine, medium, and bold tip. They're watercolor brushes, and I'm going to show you how to open it and what the tips look like. So yeah, <laughs> let's see. this is what they look like um, there's the watercolor brush very flexible cap snap on very easily and then I'm trying to figure out how to open the bottom part sorry so I figured it out um, you hold on where the brush is at my fingers are at right under the cap and then you twist and you fill that part with water so when you squeeze it water comes out onto the tip and you could easily get some paint from your watercolor palette so you don't have to have like a cup of water in front of you. I'm going to measure it for you. About six inches. And yeah, it's super easy for like travel. I'm going to show you the different tips now. So it's bold, medium, and fine tip. So this is what the body looks like. It's brush tip, and then you unscrew it right there, and then you fill these bottom parts with water. So I'm excited about those. Great purchase. I'll hopefully be using them as much as I thought I would be. <laughs> I've already used them, and I'm in love with them so far. So good purchase. This last thing I purchased from Amazon were, was this um, cam snaps and pliers. It is 200 cam snaps, 20 color starter pack. And I purchased it on Amazon for $22.99. I do do sewing projects, so I figured this would be super easy to add snaps to like my daughter's clothes if I make her any, or some bibs for my sister-in-law or my cousin. So those are the pliers. 
um, it's super easy to use and then I'm just gonna take everything out of the package that came with it that's the owl that you're able to poke through the clothes to put the snap through it and if you want me to do like a demonstration in another video please leave it down below leave that question down below and I can film that for you the next thing was a flathead screwdriver so you could switch out the uh, the top parts can't think of the name right now sorry but that that part right there there for different size snaps so you could purchase larger snaps the ones I got were for the 20 size so that's exciting they're interchangeable for different sizes so these are the instructions I'm just gonna go through it like that Again, if you want me to make a video, like a demonstration video on how to use this, leave that question down below and I'll definitely film a video for you. So it came with one I, in the bag. I want to say that it was like a practice one to make sure that it worked. And I did that black one, or that brown one, sorry. I'm just going to show you how they snap if you don't know what I mean by snaps. So it snaps like that. You could, I could put these on clothes to snap them together instead of making buttonholes, which I dread to do on my sewing machine. It's too intimidating for me right now. So these are the colors that came with the pliers, 20 colors. I have purchased a container for all of these, so they're no longer in the little baggies. But yeah, these are all the colors. And... This is the last thing I purchased on Amazon. Next thing will be for Tuesday morning. So let me finish going through this and we'll get on with that. Finally, Tuesday morning. I know everybody's dying to see what I purchased. So let's get into my haul. First thing I purchased were these two grocery bags, like uh, recyclable bags, not really grocery bags. This pink one, and then I purchased this blue one. You can't beat them for a dollar. They're really big and spacious, and I love them, <laughs> so I bought two of them. Uh, first thing I, well, next thing I purchased were these Pebbles ABC stickers. There's the UPC or the SKU and I purchased them for $1.99. They're kind of like cardboard. You can see the ridges on there. Which I thought that was really cool and different. Next thing were these Here Arts Poly Clear stamps for $4.99. There's the SKU and they're the alphabet. And I don't have an alphabet set like this so I was really excited to find this. So the next thing were these thickers from American Crafts. They have like foil on them, so you can see they're super shiny. Uh, there's a SKU, I purchased them for $1.99, and they are from the Cinnamon Collection, I believe. So those are super cute. These next ones are from Amy Tangerine, and they are foam stickers. I purchased them for $1.99, and there's a SKU. They look like her font. So I thought they were really cute, and I like them. So these next two items are the same, except the one on the right, that one is smaller in size. As you can see, I purchased that one for 99 cents. This one is for $1.99, and they are the crystal clear um, like baggies. And I wanted to use these as flip-up inserts in my album or in my journal, so you could stick stuff in it and then flip it up. So I'm excited to use these and I'm just showing you guys a little bit more of how it works. <laughs> so these are the next stickers that I purchased. I purchased them for $1.99. Um, it says moments on the top and there's a skew and I thought they were really cute and they have they're black with white polka dots. And yeah, I, I like those. 
These next stickers are from Dear Lizzie, and they are the Darling Details collection. They're from the Darling Details collections. There's a SKU. I purchased them for $1.99, and I thought they were really cute. Some of them have goil, goil, gold foil accent, so I'm excited about these. I like birthday theme. So these next stickers are from American Crafts. They are stickers. They are from the Macaw collection, and they have, I bought them for $1.99. They have like wood, wood looking on it. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, these next are mommy stickers from me and my big ideas. Um, there's eight sheets in there, and they have, about half the sheet is the one sticker. Some of them have gold foil accents, and some of them have glitter on them. I'm just gonna go through them to show you. And again, thanks for watching my video and coming back on my channel. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.